they cannot. But Lord, we're going to stay for it. Lord, there's ones out there that cannot be in service. They online watch. We're going to say thank you. Lord, heal their body. Lord, the ones who are healed, they're hurt, heal them. Lord, heal their mind. Heal their soul. Lord, people going through rough time right now. Lord, we want you to heal. We want you to touch them, Lord. Show them you are here. Lord, bless, bless people. Heal. Lord, bless all the deacons and the deacons that are not here. Oh, Lord, Lord, we thank you for your blood to be here. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, bless the past as he get ready to give the word today. Give him the knowledge and the wisdom he needs. Lord, just bless him, Lord. Let him lead him and guide him the way he wants to go. And all the things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. We want to thank each and every one for our devotion today. Amen. Amen. It's always good to be prepared for a storm. Amen. We're thanking and praising God for being here this morning on another one of God's programs. Amen. How many glad to be here this morning?
our secret chin in in prayer. Remember just everyone, pray for them. Pray a special prayer for our own mother Billups. She's in the rehab center in Grand Blake. And we're praying for uh, Mother Flood's son. What is his name again? Dalton. We're praying for Dalton. And we're going to have a special prayer for him today. We're praying for um, our Marie family, Sister Sabrina and the Carr family. Passing of her mother, the service will be this Friday. This Saturday, I'm, I'm sorry, at, at 11 at the uh, Lawrence Moon Funeral Home. We support her. She supports all of us and all our yeah. doing. Yeah. And, and so remember to pray for everyone our sick and shed in mm -hmm. and just everyone because we all need prayer. Yeah. 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 I was like, I was glad today when I was able to see Deacon Flood come in the door yeah. again. Yeah. 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 And I was so glad when I see Brother Nelson come in the door yeah. I wanted to miss church, so and when she's gone, we really miss her. We're glad to see her today. Yeah. Amen. Just everyone, Brother Archie, and everyone. Yeah. I want you to know all of you are special people. Yeah. All of you are special people yeah. because your children are the most high God. Yeah. Amen. Uh, St. Luke chapter number 11. And don't forget, this Saturday is our Hallelujah trunk or treat for our children and we need you to bring your children out here and stay with them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And stay with them to make sure they act right and act accordingly. Yeah. How many know nobody can put your children in check like you do? Yeah. So we need you to stay. We're going to have food, we'll have a bonfire, we're going to have plenty of treats. We'll have a movie outside, so there's going to be a lot to do just to keep our children off the streets. Amen. Amen. And in a safe environment right here at the church. So uh, 5 to 8 this coming Saturday. Uh, St. Luke chapter number 11. And I have an APB out on a big letter of King James Bible. <laughs> it's got a burgundy binder. And all of the pages are real ragged. And um, if you have that Bible, that belongs to me. <laughs> that belongs to me. And it has all my notes written in it. It's real ragged. I want, but I want my Bible. Okay. Uh, St. Luke chapter number 11. And I'll begin at verse 37. St. Luke chapter 11 and verse 37. And as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him. And he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but your inward part is full of raving and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which he is within also? but rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. Yes. But woe unto you, Pharisees, yes. Yes. for ye tithe men and rule, and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment, and the love of God these ought ye not have done, and not to leave the other undone. Yeah. Back up to verse number 39. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup mm -hmm. and the platter, mm -hmm. but your inward part mm -hmm. is full of raving and wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to talk about an inside job. Amen. 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 Amen.
Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Pass me now, O Yeah. That 
happening though it is important yes. to wash your hands. Yes. Yes. It is very important. I remember when uh, coronavirus suffered and they told, surfaced and they instructed of us how to survive. They told us to wash our hands. Yes. Before there was a vaccination, before there was a treatment, they said everyone wash your hands. So I don't know about y'all, but all of that was going on real hard and real, really deep. I was washing my hands all the time. I washed them so, Brother Archie, that uh, they would turn white, they would dry out. And uh, not only was I washing them with regular soap, I said it may even be better I get some Dodge this soap. Because I wanted to keep my hands clean. Now, if you look at the text, now, this Pharisee is not uh, 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 concerned about Jesus, about washing his hands uh, for cleanliness. But he is concerned because he did not wash his hand religiously. I'm going somewhere, y'all. But the problem that he had with him is that Jesus did not follow the traditions of the man. For when Jesus sat down, when they washed hands, they would sit down and symbolically or traditionally, they would take a pitcher of water and the person washing their hands would pour it on their hand. Let it drip down, and they would take the pitcher and put it in this hand, mm -hmm. and pour it on this hand and let it drip down. Uh -huh. Not using any soap, uh -huh. not using any lather, yeah. but they did it as a religious deed uh -huh. before they ate. Yeah. And Jesus says unto him, this religious, this religious Pharisee, he says, now uh, he said unto him, now you do make. Uh, clean the cup on the outside. Yeah. And you make the plates look clean on the outside. Yeah. He said, but in the inside, yeah. Yeah. they all messed up. Yeah. And, and, and I want to help somebody today that, that, that the Lord does not care how you look out. See, many people, we, with many people that are religious, they are good inspectors of how other people look. But how many know my God don't care how you look? He don't care what you are, because I come to let you know that we have become professional with looking good on the outside. We have become good with looking good on the outside. And sometimes we can look good on the outside. You ever seen anybody look good on the outside, but on the inside of their life, they're all messed up? There may be somebody in here today that, that, that had a bad night last night, that had an awkward situation last night, but, 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 but you fixed yourself up because you didn't want everybody to know what you went through last night. And that's why the writer said, I don't look like what I've been through. I don't look like what I'm going through, but Jesus says that, that ye Pharisees, you take more importance of looking good instead of being good. How many, how many know that some folk can look good, but they're not good? Some folk can look good for you, but they're no good for you. I often say everything that look good is not good for you. Just because they look good don't mean they're good. Just because, I, and, I, and, I, and I do a lot of matchmaking, y'all. And I do a lot of matchmaking, and it's funny to me that every time I make a match that I think would be good, they never like who I pick out for them. I wonder, I wonder because I thought that I knew how to pick out some nice looking folks. See, but look, when I pick them out, they may not look good to the eye. I wish you to help me. But I can already check them out and make sure they're good on the inside. Because how many know every, every pretty thing ain't good to you? There's some ugly folks, some folks that nobody else wants, but they will be good to you. Why? Because they got their inside. 
inside. Well, there's some pretty folks with some messed up attitudes. There's some handsome men that's got some messed up demeanors about them. Why? Because they're not focusing on their inside, but they're focusing on their outside. And I want to help about five of y'all today, and I'll make six. That you, you, you've been trying to make it. You spend a lot of time in the mirror getting your exterior together. I don't have to call the roll, do I? Uh, you you done had number three, four, and five last year. You done, you done tried it every which way but loose. But I want to tell you, if you're going to take time to fix up your outside, you surely better take time to fix up your inside. He said, if it's for you, Make sure that the cup and the plate is clean on the outside, but on the inside, he said, you're full of rage and wickedness. How many know that, 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 that you cannot see wickedness from the outside? You cannot see hopelessness from the outside because wickedness is a part of our inner man. Now a person, every person in here has the capabilities of being a good person. Can y'all help me out? Every time I pick up the paper or look at the news, that there's always something we've done bad. Yesterday at Genesee Valley, someone decided to shoot somebody in the morning. And the reason why, uh, 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 because they have wickedness in yes. their heart. Yes. The Bible says that out of the mouth, uh -huh. the heart speaks. Yes. And I want to take you today, if, if, if you have a problem with your mouth, uh -huh. it's because your heart is wounded. Yes. And many a times we do not release the matters of our heart uh -huh. and give attention for them. We carry them around with us for years. Yeah for days, for months, right. of things that have happened to our lives yes. in a tragic fashion. Yes. Yes. Things folk have done to us, things folk have said about us, yes. and we carry this stuff with us. Yes. And then we become, the devil gets us to function in our mind to think what's wrong with us is normal. That's right. I want to tell somebody today that you know that you've been carrying these burdens in your heart, I want you to first realize that what you're carrying that keeps you depressed is not normal. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Right. Right. You do not have to live life in jail all of your life. That's right. But if you're going to eradicate the spirit in your heart, you must first say that I am carrying hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how many know when you carry hurt around, you go hurt everybody. That's right, that's right, that's right. But that should be something in life. I know that our lives have been faced with difficulties and have been faced some with tragedy. But I want to encourage you today that if God has left you through all of that, yeah. that he yeah. still yeah. has plans yeah. for you. The writer says, please be patient with me. Yeah. God is not through with me. Yeah. But when he gets through with me, I shall yeah. come yeah. home. Yeah. That's pure, pure gold. Yeah. And I want to throw this in for free. You don't want me to Whatever you do in life, I don't care how bad it gets or how rough your storm is, don't let that devil allow you to give up your hope. Yeah. I don't know my These 51 years I have lived, I know what it is to have hope in the midst of a storm. I, I know what it is to have hope when there is no hope. I know what it is to win. I know what it is to have hope when the walls are closing. Yeah. When, when, when you can't go nowhere, when you can't look to nobody. Anybody ever been like that before? When you're in your bed and all you had to hold on to was your hope. Yeah. All I had to hope, look 
looking at you funny, they laughing at you, they looking at you strange, but you say, as long as I can hold on to my hope, my hope keeps telling me that it's not going to always be like this. Guess what? I may die, but guess what? I'm going to still hold on to my hope because it's my hope that keeps me hoping and keeps me going no matter what the prognosis may be. I'm going to still hold on to my hope. Guess what? I'm going to help somebody here. Let me bring it down in layman's term. Guess what? They talked about me, but guess what? I'm still hoping. I got a bad report from the doctor, but guess what? I'm still hoping. They, they would not speak to me no more. My group that I was in, but guess what? I'm still hoping. Yeah, I'm saying I'm I'm still hoping. Why? Because I'm not placing my trust and my focus in man, but I'm placing my hope and my focus in God. Yeah. Yeah. Still hoping. Uh, I'm still hoping one day yeah. that we'll wake up and won't be no more killings in our neighborhood. Yeah. See, not only do you hope for yourself, you got to hope for your environment. Yeah. I believe one day we're going to wake up one day and it won't be no more uh, heart trouble in our neighborhood. Yeah. See, see, folks talking about, they, they, they're trying to go to a place where there won't be no more heart trouble, but I believe in hoping that there won't be no heart trouble right here before I go to the place where there will never be any heart trouble. Yeah. So he did, let me go. He said, but you, you make the plate clean on the outside in the cup. He said, but uh, you have a lot of wickedness in your heart. I'm talking to somebody today. You have a lot of wickedness in your heart. And I learned too, y'all, that folk that accept Jesus as their personal Savior can be wicked too. Uh, 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 come here, what's the scripture we quote? Uh, and my people with, with, that are called by my name would turn from there. What that say? Wicked. So that lets me know some saved folk can be wicked too. Yeah. Turn from their wicked ways. Yeah. Now, 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 we've been praying to God uh, to, to get the wickedness out of us. And the scripture said, you got to turn from your own That's wickedness. Right. Yeah. See, a lot of things we've been waiting on God to do for us. He has already given you the authority and the power to be to have that in your own way. And that's why we say, why God won't answer my prayers? I'm still wicked. I'm still messed up. I'm still dirty. I'm still dirty. Why? He's not going to come and intervene on something you like. That's right. Because nine times out of the ten, folk that's wicked love being wicked. That's wicked love being wicked. And he said, war unto you, scribes and Pharisees. He said, for you tithe the men and rule all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment, and the love of God. These are, he said, these are, these ought ye have done, and not leave the other unturned. What he's saying, because these people are messed up on the inside, they do things just to be seen. Uh oh, I'm trying to help you. Remember in Luke chapter 18, when, when Jesus and his disciples were with Jesus, and these are preachers, y'all. Yes, yes. And they started an argument amongst themselves. Yeah. Now Jesus is going to be gone in a minute. Mm -hmm. And who's going to sit in the big seat? Yeah. 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 I'm talking about preachers now, y'all. Yeah. Not only can it be some wicked Christians, it's some wicked preachers too. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, who's going to sit in the big seat? Uh -huh. They was at dinner talking about Jesus. Can't interrupt them at the dinner table. Look, y'all. We got more important things to be worried about this. Right. Yeah. And he went on to say, now look, y'all worried about the wrong thing. Uh -huh. And he told Peter, look, you worried about this and Satan has decided to kill you. Yeah. He has decided to kill you and you worried about what seat you're going to sit in. Uh -huh. How many know if you go there, how many know when you depend on man to give you a seat? Uh -huh. right? yeah. Man can take the seat. Yes, right. Right. I wish I had somebody to help. Yeah. See, when we're looking for man to give us approval and everything, and guess what? A man do give you approval, he can take it back from you. Yes. How many know if God puts you up? Yes. I'm going to wish I had a with If God puts you up, can't nobody take you back out? Yes. So he said, they do things just to be seen. He even said they pay their tithes. Yes. They give 
shrines in the temple for everybody to see what they get. They want theirs to be announced every time they give it because they're trying to look righteous, but their heart is not righteous. I want to tell you that everybody that looks righteous is not righteous. There's some folk that don't have no good clothes, may not drive a good car, or in the best of the best, or have the best, but they're righteous in their heart. What does it mean to be righteous? That means that they're in right standing with God. That they have that fellowship with God. See, righteous folk already know. We make excuses for it. That I'm not going to let nobody pull me out of my right. 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 Because when they come, this is a righteous person. They don't have the person that offended them at the spotlight. But they have God out the spotlight. Yes. Yes. It is. It is. He said, whoa, well, verse 44, he says, verse 43, he said, uh, for, uh, I got to get down in here. I, I almost missed something, y'all. He says, ye time of mint and rule over all manner of hurt. Uh oh. And pass over judgment and the love of God these all ye to have done. And not leave out the other undone. He said, you take more, more faith and more focus in giving. And then he brought up the word earn. In other words, you're supposed to be serving God, but you but you're serving other things. Yes. How many know when you need to get in touch with God? Can't no herb get you in touch. I don't care what you sprinkle. I don't care how many candles you burn. Because if it was in the herb and the candle, you wouldn't need Jesus. Think about it for a minute, y'all. If it had to do with the herb and the camel, guess what? We wouldn't even need Jesus. And he says here, he says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. He said, Y'all hypocrites. He said, Y'all pretending to serve God. He said, You hypocrites. He said, For ye are, for ye are hypocrites. Ye are plain. Ye are pretending to know God. And your heart is far from him. I want to tell somebody that if there's ever been a day and a time where we need to really know God, it is now. Amen. Things are coming down around us and we're praying for it to get better. But how many know it may get worse before it gets better? And if we're going to fix our inside, or fix our man, First of all, in order to fix ourselves, we got to first come as David did in Psalm 51. Uh -huh. yes. David says, have mercy on me, yes. O oh God. Yes. So the first thing that we're going to clean our inside is that we're going to have to ask the Lord yes. to have mercy on us. Yes. Yes. I'm going to know in order to ask mercy, have mercy on us, we got to get ourselves out of prideful state. Yeah. Right. Come on, come on, yeah, come on yeah. before God. I'm trying to Ooh. fix your insides today. Right. Yeah. Not just your outside. Yeah. Humble. When we come humble unto God, what is that saying to God? And I need your help. Yeah. 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 I've been pretending. Yeah. I've been playing. Yeah. I've been tripping. Yeah. I've been fooling everybody else. Yeah. But I'm hurting deep down inside. Yeah. 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 Am I talking to anybody? Yeah. 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 I just said it. I done sit on the front row. Mm -hmm. I done worked the usher ministry. I done, I, done, I, done, I, done, I done done this and I done done this in the church. But my insides are yes. Amen. Amen. David, David, Sister Harris had to get to a point where he had to come before God. Although he was the mighty man of the land, yes. he had sinned before God. Yes. He had had adultery with another man's wife. Yes. And then he loved that woman so had that woman husband killed. Yes. Now, what the Bible, it points out what David done, but what it, what it recognizes to us is that sometimes we can let sin blind us from getting right. Yeah. So David says, Lord, I'm coming to you. Uh -huh. He says, Lord, 
uh, uh, have mercy on me. Yes. I come to tell somebody today, you ain't, you ain't got to have one of them big f fancy prayers uh -huh. when you're trying to get your inside right. Yeah. See, so I've heard many of y'all tell me many times we ask you to pray, so well, I don't know how to pray. I want to tell you, you do know how to pray. Yeah. It's so bad if you can just say, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Anybody ever heard that grandmama or granddaddy pray like that? Yeah. That when they get bad, that, that, that they don't pray like they prayed when they was at church. Yeah. That they don't pray like they prayed when they was in the temple. Y'all know how we pray when we want to uh, look good in front of folk. When we want, when we want folks to, to, to look good, we want to look good and impress folk. But when we want to really get to God, uh -huh. we just get down on our knees and say, Lord, have mercy.
is you coming at me or you come in my house? Would it just be mad and go look for somebody? How many know that them people ain't even worth your freedom? And I tell you what, I, 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 I don't even like when my boys were little, they sleep with me and sleep in a, a little room with a grown man. And right, right, right. got to use that toilet right there in front of him. I'd like to be comfortable. Sometimes I like to be quiet when I'm here. I'm just telling the truth, y'all. And I like to be able to get up and go to famous days when I'm here. I want to go to Red Lobster. I want to go to her house and eat her house. I don't want stone top stuff for Christmas. So when you get your inside man picture, look, they ain't even worth it. They done said this and they done done this to you. Guess what? They're not even worth your freedom. I watched so many of our young children. And I watched the other day some of our young ladies go to prison. And I said, Lord, what must it feel like to be in your early 20s, 24, 25, and the, and the, and the, and the judge say that you are locked up for the rest of your life? Y'all don't know, what, what could that feel like? And no, you, you acted bad right there, but it's all over. The only way you get getting out is, is Mr. Moon come get you. You done throw your life away. You done throw yourself away. But fix your inside. Everything I'm not doing, everything is not worth going on. We act bad on this side. My sister, she works, she used to work in the prison system up here before she moved to Atlanta. And she said, you see these people, when they come in from Flint, they're supposed to be tough in the streets. And when they get an intake, and they change their clothes, when it's time to go out there, some of them have been mad in the streets, and then she see them go Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because they realize the game is over now. And she tell them, baby, don't you go out there with your tears coming out of your eyes. Wipe your tears off. You better act like this guy here. See, because they got some people here put you in your place. So I just want to pray. What are we at right now? We're going to get this demon out of our neighborhoods. Because they just come to destroy our children. Parents gonna start back being parents. I don't care if you didn't was a parent when they small, they didn't got wrong. You you tell them what's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some folk can't accept they parent. Well, my parents were done this, man. Right. Guess right. what? They steal your parents. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Fix. We need our inside revived. We need it renewed. We need it regenerated. Well, because the devil is trying to destroy us and our children. Everything is not worth worth going to get our gun on the mask. Sometimes we do that and don't think quick. Then we still leave children back here that we need to be here to take care of, but we can't take care because we're in prison. Man. Like that you soothe our hearts, soothe our minds, soothe our spirits to come to you as David came to you. David committed murder and adultery. He came to you and he said, Lord, create in me a clean heart. And after you create in me a clean heart, I need my spirit right to you. He said, and renew the right spirit within me. 
Because I know if you clean my heart and my spirit not right, then my heart will get messed up because my spirit is bad. But created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit. And first of all, David said, have mercy on me. And we pray to have mercy on us. If you don't have mercy on us, we're doomed for disaster. We thank you right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, clap. All of you. I'm going to pray for Mother Flood's son right now. Mother Flood. Her son in Dalton, right? He's, he's in the hospital. And they been um, operating on him and they're supposed to operate on him again. And I'm telling you how this time he needs a miracle. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 You know, it's something to hear a mother cry like this. Yes, yes. A mother's love their children. Yes, yes. That's right, mother. Yes, yes. The prayer say, have mercy, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord, we all bring Dalton to you right now. Yes, Lord. I don't know exactly where he is, but you know, Lord. Yes, in that hospital bed, in that hospital yes. where he is. Lord, we already know you know about it. Yes. But we ask him on our behalf, Master, that you have mercy on him, Master. Have mercy on Dalton right now, Master. We ask that you allow his blood to flow like it should. That you allow his heart to beat like it should. Open up the arteries in that leg, the veins, the vessels. Bring life to it right now. Lord, the reason we call you because you specialize in bringing life to dead situations. Realize, Master, that there's nothing too hard for you. We beg of you, please, to have mercy, Master. Have mercy, Master. Have mercy, Master. Have mercy on Dalton right now, Master. Master, I remember when they were in the church praying for Peter. When Peter's head was about to be chopped off. And they were praying. And Peter come knocking at the door. Lord, I know if you can do it for Peter, you can do it for God. There is no secret what God can do. And what he's done for others, he will do the same for you. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Now soothe this mother, give her strength. Give her strength for this journey right now. Have mercy, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. And all the people said amen. amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sometimes you just have to say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. When you get home, get your children and say, in Jesus' name. They might say, well, I ain't done nothing. Well, you done something yesterday and I'm in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible tells me that devils tremble at his name. <laughs> Blind eyes come open at his name. Deaf ears are unstopped by his name. Lame men get up and walk at his name. Dead folk get up and talk at his name. In Jesus' name. I wish I had somebody to test it out for me. In Jesus' name. Hearts begin to regulate. Minds begin to light up. Eyes come open. Mouth begin to breathe. Shout back to 
Everybody say, in Jesus' name.
see the kitchen committee for a donation. They want full pans of food. 